Beard trim questions? Well, this is the video for you guys. Welcome. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I am the trusted teacher for all things beard related. And in this video today, I'm going to answer all of the questions that I get on a daily basis about trimming your own beard. I do trim my own beard. I've never been to a barber. I've always cut my own beard. I even cut my own hair. And along the way, I've learned some things through experience and research. And today, I'm going to answer some of the questions like, should I trim my beard natural or styled? Wet or dry? On wash days, co-wash days, rinse days, what tools or products should I use? Don't worry, I have all of those answers and what works best for me and what I think will help you guys out. So if you want to learn that, please just stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for joining us today. So today's just going to be a straightforward video. I'm going to run through some questions and give my answers and reasoning behind those questions. Now, please know that anything I talk about in any video is just simply what works for me and what I've found through research and other people's experiences as well. Everybody's beard is different and you have to do what is best for your beard. So I'm never telling you to do these things, but I will tell you I have logic, thought, reason, experience, and research behind anything I say on this channel, so I hope you find that valuable. So the first one, I think the most important question, and the one I feel strongest about, and I feel there's the most divide out there on this question. Should I style my beard before trimming? Yes. I style my beard in the morning, and I trim at night. Two main reasons for that. One, my beard will be dry. You need to have a dry beard when you trim. You do not want a wet beard. By the end of the day, all moisture and product will be completely absorbed into my beard and skin and will not impact that trim at all. If your beard is wet, it is going to bunch up. It is going to have a different texture to it and it's not going to trim as easy. So make sure you have a 100% completely dry beard. Second reason why I trim my beard styled is because I want to trim in the way that I want my beard to look. Most of the time when I go out, my beard is styled. If I ever care about my appearance, I'm going to fully go through my morning routine and style my beard. If it's a lazy day or a natural day, I don't care about my appearance at that point, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. So I'm going to style my beard and then trim from there. Why? Because when I style the next morning, it's going to go right back to the way I trimmed it. If I were to trim my beard natural, it's curly, it's shorter, it's never going to look like that when I style it. So I feel very, very strongly, if you want to have a beard that looks styled, looks professional, clean, nice, all those descriptive words, you need to style your beard before you trim it. And that's a big one, huge one for me. And that kind of piggybacks on the other question, wet beard, dry beard, I get asked that all the question, dry. That one's pretty simple, I kind of explained it there. Now another question that I get all the time is what products should I use when I style my beard? Same kind of thing. I am just at the end of the day. If I use just oil that day, that's fine. If I use balm that day, that's fine. I just want to have my styled beard. Should it be on a wash day, a co-wash day, a rinse day? Again, that doesn't quite matter for me. Uh, you just want to make sure it's looking in a condition where you really like it. And a huge Huge tip right here, the biggest trimming tip of them all. None of these other tips matter unless you can get this. At night, give yourself that full trim. Go in, take off as much as you need or as much as you want, and then sleep on it. Do not micromanage and try to get that perfect look. You'd be amazed at what happens when you sleep overnight, you style your beard in the morning, and how everything's fallen in place in a better way than it was the night before. I've seen far too many people, including myself, go through a trim, take off a little more on one side, they think because of their perspective, and then they try to match it, and then they try to match it, and match it, and then they shave. Save your beard, walk away, come back to it the next day. That beard is a commitment for a very long time, and you need to keep that. So make sure you don't get carried away, don't get your blood pressure up, just put everything down, and then move on from there. And that's a huge one, you guys. Sleep on it and adjust. When I do a trim, it's usually a three to five day trip. I have my big one, and then I go in and make the small adjustments from there. 
If it's off a little bit, no one else is going to notice but you. Take that little bit of extra time to make sure you're doing it right to cor correct yourself and collect your thoughts. Now, how do I trim? Big one here too, and I'm going to show you what I use in a second. I trim from the bottom, and then I fade in my sideburns, and that's it. I do not trim down on my sides, and I will tell you why. I used to, because I thought that gave you this nice streamlined or narrow beard look or professional beard look because you're taking off the sides. No. I can achieve this look through styling. One thing that happens when you take off sides of your beard when you trim is you lose that great depth and fullness to your beard. Everyone always comments on how full my beard is, how thick my beard is. I think the main reason is because I'm not chopping down on the sides. I can get that through my morning routine. If you chop down, that's the easiest way to take off too much. So for me, it's only about the underbeard and then fading in the sideburns that I take off. That is it. Now I kind of showed there, but tools that I use. First one, the most important, you need good clippers. I love and only use the Brio Beardscape Clippers. Now I bought this every single penny myself. I've never spoken to the company. I don't have an affiliate with them. I would dream of working with them. They're out of Michigan actually, so Brio, if you're out there, hey, let's get together. But I'll put their Amazon link down in the description below, and I'll have a full review for these guys coming up pretty soon. Uh, but literally, I've never spoken to this company, but they are the best. They're very precise, they are very accurate, and one of the best things about these is the battery life is ridiculous. I get four or five months off one charge. I don't have to charge this, I let it sit and it's not plugged in. Four or five months later, it'll get low and then I'll charge it again. It's never even died on me. I always just charge it when I think it's low. It gives you like a little reader, it's on a five scale. Once it gets down to one, I start charging it because my fear is that I'm gonna be in the middle of a trim and beep, it shuts off and that would be pretty scary there. So the most important thing is get good clippers. I've never heard anybody say anything better than the Brio Beardscape Clippers. Next, you need some good scissors. You can always hear that difference and feel the strength on there. Mine just came out of a beard kit that I got online. And lastly, really important one here, is get yourself a cat comb. It's no mystery out there. I absolutely love oxhorn combs for my everyday morning routine, night routine. But when it comes to styling, comes to trimming my beard, I have to use a cat comb. Why? I love the wide teeth and the fine teeth. They make a difference. You can get through your beard with the wide teeth, and then you can get everything precise for a trim with those fine teeth there. So I like this one. It's long enough for my beard. It does really, really well in my mustache. It is just the perfect, perfect comb for my beard on trims. It was one of my first purchases off Amazon for my beard. So I'll link that below for Amazon as well. That's all I use. No other tools touch my beard on a trim other than those. And I will link my beard trim video at the end so you guys can check that out. I don't cut, I just simply go step by step and show you guys every bit of a trim. So those are the main questions that I get with a beard trim. I can't quite think of anything else right now that people ask, but if you follow those, I think we can help save a beard or two out there and definitely make beards look a little bit better. So question to leave you guys with, is there anything in the video that you agreed with my points? Is there anything you disagreed and I'm totally fine with that? I'm willing to hear the reasons why you trim your beard naturally. I'm willing to listen to the reasons on why you chop down on your sideburns because that info is very debated out there, but I do know it works for me, and I do know I have people every single day that say, man, I want my beard to look like you. Well, it's tough to do that if you're not trimming in the way I do, if that makes sense for you guys. So give me some feedback there. Also kind of answer the question, do you trim your own beard? Do you go to a barber? Have you ever had a bad experience on either side? Just overall, what are your thoughts on beard trims there? I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say, what questions you guys have, and some stories out there. I think this is going to make for one of the best comment sections on any of my videos. So thank you guys today. Dan C. Bearded, the trusted teacher. You have a beautiful, long, stylish bearded day.